Hello, in this video, I'm going to tell you all about adiponectin. Um, so this is a hormone secreted by adipose tissue, also skeletal muscle cells, the heart, and endothelial cells. Uh, its function is to increase insulin sensitivity and decrease inflammation. On the next slide, I'll go through in a little bit more detail if you're interested in more of the physiology of the actions of adiponectin. Uh, low levels of this hormone are seen in patients with obesity, type 2 diabetes, and metabolic syndrome. Uh, so actually, as body fat decreases, levels of adiponectin increase, which is a good thing. We want higher levels of adiponectin uh, because that increases our cell's sensitivity to insulin and also decreases our systemic inflammation. Um, the secretion of adiponectin it appears to be controlled by several different hormones. Um, this is an active area of research. We don't know everything about this hormone yet, and there's still a lot to be learned. Um, but so far, it appears that it is controlled by our secretion of insulin, insulin-like growth factor, growth hormone, and maybe even leptin. Okay, so now to go on to some more of the detailed physiology of this hormone. Uh, so it increases insulin sensitivity, specifically of skeletal muscle cells and the liver. Uh, it increases release of insulin from the pancreas as needed. Uh, it enhances our uptake of glucose by adipose tissue, inhibits gluconeogenesis in the liver, meaning that it's going to stop the liver from creating new glucose, uh, promotes fatty acid oxidation, promotes fat storage in our subcutaneous stores instead of visceral, which is a good thing. Um, we don't want to increase our visceral fat stores. That's not good for our organs, and it increases inflammation. Um, so it's good that if we are going to store fat, we want that fat to be stored subcutaneously under the skin rather than in our visceral stores. So that's a good thing. Uh, it also decreases inflammation in our macrophages, endothelial tissue, muscle cells, and epithelial cells. So just to sum all of those functions up as succinctly as possible, I would say that um, the function of adiponectin is to improve glucose and fat metabolism overall in all sorts of different ways, and it decreases systemic inflammation. All right, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.